Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm here in Tampa, Florida, and um, this is a another edition of my mini series that is becoming increasingly popular. Uh, this is the Untold Truth in Detailing mini series uh, within my new YouTube channel. Um, this is a video about something that I hear on the internet a lot. And it is people say charge what you're worth. Now that means a whole lot and it makes a whole lot of sense. And I'll just preface the rest of this by saying if you're just starting out, you're not worth a lot. I mean, that's the bottom line. Uh, not because you yourself are not worth a lot, but you're not worth the same as someone who's been in the game for a long time and has lots of experience. You are worth less than that. Less experience means you can charge less. Less notoriety means you can charge less. Um, and that's really the bottom line. Uh, when you gain experience, you can charge more because you're worth more. And, you know, a lot of guys will be thinking, well, I feel like I'm worth this and I feel like I'm worth that. Well, you're not. If you're just starting out, you're worth a lower number per job than someone who's been in the game for a long time. Uh, for example, I can charge a whole lot more than someone who's just jumping in. So if you're somebody who's just jumping into the detail game, you should watch my other video uh, about, you know, how much should I charge um, and uh, where, my, where should my pricing start at? And, you know, so, uh, you know, again, in that video I mentioned it's uh, around $35 an hour is what you should start at. And, you know, that that's what you're worth. I mean, that's the bottom line. There's still plenty of profit to be made. Um, I mean, even after the 10% of the cost factor ratio uh, that I have presented in the other video, even then, there is plenty of money to be made, and a lot of people aren't making that kind of money at their regular job. And I can tell you, at 35 bucks an hour, um, but not charging by the hour, charging a lump sum for the job, uh, but basing it on that 35 bucks an hour, um, that's what you're worth to start. I mean, you know enough to be, you know, to get in there and do the job, and you are internet rich with knowledge and that's where you start. Uh, so charging what you're worth means that you have to take your the knowledge that you have, the experience that you have, and um, you know the tools, the all of that, you have to take that and put a value on that. And I would recommend that you start that at about $35 an hour but the customer doesn't like an hourly charge. They want a lump sum total charge and you should start basing your jobs on what you think $35 an hour would equate to. It'll give you enough profit left over to really make some good money and that's where, where you're at. Uh, you know, the problem here is that people think they know it all, they're internet rich and I can tell you that when you get off that internet and get your butt to work and you're actually doing something it's far different than all these trolls on the internet might make it seem um, you know a lot of these people uh, a lot of you guys are sitting behind your computer for hours and hours and hours and then you get out in the real world and try to detail and you fail you're just you're failing um, because it's different to be doing it than it is to be reading posts on the internet. So uh, charging what you're worth means a whole lot. But the reality is people think they're worth far more than they are. Uh, and so when you can find a balance of, of what you're actually worth and what you can get that customer to pay you for that value that you've put on yourself, then you're going to win. And winning is the key. And, um, you know, there are so many more things that come with detailing than just detailing. You have got to find a balance between the customer 
the customer's expectation, the customer's budget, and reality. You've got to find that balance, um, and you have to base that balance on the experience that you have to make that whole situation work. So charge what you're worth, but be realistic on the value that you give yourself, especially when you're just coming into the game. I'm not necessarily talking about the people who are experienced and have been in the game for a while. Most of those guys have it covered, but for you newbies who are just coming into the game, I'm not trying to talk down to you, I'm just telling you that your value is lower than someone else who's been in the game for a long time, that has a reputation, who is, you know, you know, working with, you know, more skills uh, and, and that kind of thing. So just keep your value in mind uh, when you're trying to set up what you feel like you're worth. And again, 35 bucks an hour uh, as a basis uh, is, is pretty realistic uh, at a 10% cost to profit ratio. Uh, if you put that all together, uh, you will absolutely, without question, be successful. So my cell phone number is 813-846-4406. If you got any questions, let me know. I cannot help you if you don't reach out. And um, I'm here to help you in your detailing endeavors. And I want to share you guys share with you guys the untold truths in detailing. If you got any suggestions on videos, any questions about what may be a myth, may be realistic, uh, you know, whatever you're thinking, I'm willing to listen to that and potentially shoot a video on it. So thank you so much for watching and uh, have a great day.